I don't know if you heard, you probably heard, maybe you heard, I have a, a new a stand-up special on Netflix. And, uh, yeah. My original pitch was a true crime documentary where um, I crack unsolved murders. Uh, there was one in M Michigan, and uh, it was called Hell Freezes Over. And, but the detective I was working with double-crossed me, and two of my sources disappeared, so I made a stand-up special instead, because um, Netflix had paid me already. So. <laughs> I had to come up with something. Um, my special is called Relatable, and um, if you haven't seen it yet, it, it came out December 18th. Um, would you like to see a little bit of it? Yeah. I, was, I was hoping you'd say that, so here's a little bit. Yeah, I can't, when I'm in traffic, here's the thing. I, I love to drive, and, and I like to drive fast. And I'm safe, but I do like to go fast. And so slow drivers irritate me, because they're, they're going so slow. And let's be honest, it's usually a Prius, isn't it? It's a... We've got the coexist bumper sticker on the back. <laughs> Listening to NPR. Knitting a hemp scarf. <laughs> if I see a Prius going fast, I'm like, good for you! <laughs> I don't know why it is whenever we pass someone going slow, we have to see what they look like. We always like, yeah. Yeah. that's what you look like. I thought so. I thought... <laughs> There's nothing more embarrassing than when you pass up a slow driver to show them the proper way of driving. You go around them and show them how they should be driving. And then you hit a red light. And you're watching them slowly creep up in your rearview mirror and you're just... Please change, please change, please change. And the light doesn't change, so they just creep up alongside of you. I'm just gonna look down here and touch that. I'm gonna see what that is right there with that, because I have to see this. And no, I know, you're next to me, but you're still wrong, even though you caught up. And I'm gonna do that with my finger for a while, because... Thank you. So stand-up used to be my life. I mean, that, I, that's how I started my career. I did it forever, and then I became famous, and then a lot of comedy clubs started painting portraits of me on their walls next to other famous comedians. And I don't know how to put this, but I wish they wouldn't. Um, <laughs> I photograph very well. I was a cover girl. I'm on TV. I'm, I'm photogenic. But for some reason, it's hard to draw me. And um, I'm just not draw-ogenic, I guess. Uh, <laughs> it's more the artist's fault than mine. I'm going to show you what I mean. This is a portrait of me. It was painted on the side of the Improv here in Los Angeles. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's back when I was tweezing my eyebrows, and I. This is true. Nowadays, when I go to get my hair cut, I bring this, and I say, "Not that." <laughs> then they painted over that and updated it to this. <laughs> that's me and my famous guitar right there. That's. Uh... Like a lesbian Johnny Cash, I am. <laughs> I don't play guitar. I never have. I don't, I don't own a guitar. Finally, this is from the Looney Bin. It's the name of the club in Oklahoma City. Um, <laughs> yeah. That looks like I eat some bad shellfish right there. That's a... Uh, in their defense, cinder block is hard to work with. It really is. Hi, I'm Andy. Ellen asked me to remind you to subscribe to her channel so you can see more awesome videos, like videos of me getting scared or saying embarrassing things, like Ball Peen Hammer, and also some videos of Ellen and other celebrities, if you're into that sort of thing. Oh, God!